welcome back to my channel this video is my update number five for finish 18 in 2018 uh, let's first talk about the products that I finished and I'll show you the products that are still ongoing and then at the end I will tell you how many products I finished so far and the value of those products before we get into this video make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and let's just get into it uh, I did really good this past month you guys I was so excited so happy with my progress uh, heart candy long wear sheer envy and sheer envy setting spray this guy is gone yay I am replacing it with the urban decay D slick makeup setting spray oil control uh, I know this is the older packaging. I don't, I, I'm sure the formula is still the same. They have new packaging. I had picked up this guy from Nordstrom Rack like a while ago and I've used it a couple times already. Um, we'll see how it's gonna go. The weather has been really hot and I've been getting oily towards the end of the day. So we'll see if that does a good job at controlling the oils. Uh, the other product that I did finish is it cosmetics confidence in a, confidence in a cream this guy is gone yay um, a little bit bittersweet I really really enjoyed it um, it was my favorite moisturizer for nighttime it's very hydrating I'll wake up my skin is very plumped but it's gone um, and I am replacing it with a caudally uh, vino perfect overnight renewal cream I got this um, in a set when I ordered or when I purchased the Vino Perfect Serum so it came with this and a glycolic like um, acid essence thing uh, so I'm looking forward to using this guy especially now that I am using that serum so we'll see we'll see how it goes and it's nighttime which I used to use the it cosmetics for nighttime anyways so there's that uh, I know I have been replacing a lot of the items that I did finish or I do finish um, the project is not a rolling project pan, but I have been really enjoying finishing products and getting them out of my collection. It's been keeping me motivated and actually using products. So um, yeah, that's the reason I have been replacing stuff. At the end of the video, I'll talk about the goals or what goals I had in the beginning of the year and where I'm at right now. Uh, Besame Cosmetics, or is it just Besame? Besame Brightening Violet Powder. Um, last update i showed you i had a little tiny bit left now it is completely gone and i replaced it with another besame product which is the besame brightening vanilla powder um, i have been using this for since the last update because that only had like one or two uses in it so i have been using it for oh, a month easily and um yeah not a whole lot left in here either it's probably going to be super hard to show you but let me try and um, I think maybe like a week's worth of use. So, and then I'll have to think about what am I gonna use next? Thank goodness I have a lot of setting powders. I've been going through them like crazy for some reason. I don't know why. I finished Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, it's gone, completely gone. I kind of scraped as much as possible out of the two and I am replacing it with Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, the full coverage conceal and control in the shade that I did pick up is a C5, which is kind of like a brightening shade for me. Um, I have been using this, maybe I've used it like four or five times so far. It's good, I like it. Um, I might like it a little bit better than the Tarte Shape Tape, and that's just because Tarte Shape Tape kind of like dries too fast for me. It's been a while since I used it, but that's what I remember. And they're supposed to be dupes. I don't know. My, maybe one of these days I'll have to use my Tarte Shape Tape and compare it to this one as well. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Um, those videos have been done so many times. I don't think that's an original idea. But anyways, so yeah, I've been using this guy. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it before the end of the year that, and because it's basically brand new. I did have another concealer that was open and that was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Is it Photo Focus? Photo Finish Concealer. Um, I thought maybe I'll replace the Maybelline one with that, but really when I wanted to do that, there wasn't a lot of product in it. So I was like, eh, it's not really worth it. So let's just use a, you know, because that's gonna be gone by itself. It doesn't need to be in a project. 
Okay, I finished up uh, Tristique Florence Fig, um, the lipstick. This guy is completely gone. There's nothing left in here. And I told you last time that when it's gone, I'm going to use the Tarte uh, Lip Surgeons in the shade is Glamorous. That's what I have on today. I put it on and I really gave it a really nice blob because I don't like the finish that it has. So I wanted to kind of like mattify it a little. I like it like this a lot more than just putting it on and keep going. So... Um, I have been using this guy or I've used it a couple times. I'm already starting to get like a little slant in it. It's not my favorite lip product. Um, I'm going to continue using it, see if I really like it. If not, you'll know by next update. One more empty. Is that? Yes. Uh, it cosmetics, no tug waterproof gel eyeliner. Um, again, this guy is completely gone. And I am replacing it with another eyeliner and this is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. The shade is zero. Uh, it's not a whole lot of product left, like the pencil is pretty small already. But I want to use it, I want to finish it and uh, I think I could do that. Let's talk about the products that are still remaining. Um, I do have some really nice progress on a few of them. Uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess. I hit pan on this guy today. I was so happy with that. This was in my 12 pans of Christmas and I didn't hit pan on it then. I put it in when I took the MAC product out, the MAC bronzing powder. Um, I know there's quite a bit left in here so I'm going to continue using it and um, I think I can finish it before the end of the year. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector opal um last time i showed you this product the pan was huge i finally caved in and repressed it and that's what it's looking like right now um also i i think i'll be it'll be done before the next update okay hourglass ambient lighting powder and luminous light um just the pan just going and going it's getting bigger you can see it all the way around the sides um i just want to be done with this product it's really good um, for the money, you know. It was like a good investment. I think this was the twenty-two dollars. The is it twenty-two dollars? Twenty something, somewhere around there. It's not the full size. So, but I've been using it for seven months straight. So, you know, something to think about. It was worth the money. Uh, Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector Spotlight in Opal as well. You can see a lot of the pan showing or the tube showing so it's not a whole lot left in here hopefully by next update it will be gone uh, bare minerals blush in vintage peach oh, I'm like so close you guys it is almost almost gone I'm gonna try to show you or bring it in as close as possible here's what it's like let me turn it around so you can see like how much product is in there so it's not a whole lot of product in there um, I hope you can see that I think maybe I have maybe one or two weeks left um, I'm really excited for that, but I really like this blush. So same thing as that A Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Um, I still have MAC Spiked, the eyebrows, like the eyebrow pencil. I don't know how much is left in here. I don't want to twist it all the way up because I can't twist it back, but this is still going. Uh, Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. This guy's still going too. Uh, actually, I should have sharpened it today. Um, so that's what it's looking like. I have been using it. Again, I only use it on the top lash line. I don't use it in my waterline. It smudges pretty badly. Um, I have Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. I have used this guy and I believe I'm currently like around here. Um, I am not using it too much right now because it has been really hot. I don't feel like my skin needs that moisturizing like makeup primer. It's need more like a mattifying one. I have been getting oily towards the end of the day. So um, I'm going to hold off on using this. I'm going to keep it in the project. But, you know, if you don't see a whole lot of progress, it's going to pick back up in um, the winter months. It's November, December, hopefully uh Too Faced Born This Way foundation I marked it again and I am at this black line I still have quite a bit left in here it is not going as fast as I thought it would because I had seen people pan it in three months and I've been using it consistently for six and a half seven months now um maybe not every single day because I have been trying other foundations or like 
you know samples but I have been using this guy like the majority of the time I use this guy um, it's okay I really like it I like the finish that it gives me I have it on today it's not matte it's not dewy it's just natural um, I like that it's not super full coverage it's medium coverage but um, yeah it's still going and that's okay Laura Geller color luster lip gloss and sugar cane um, I am a little bit lower than that black line so I've used it maybe once or twice since the last update um, not too many times I need to work on it some more bite beauty in gazpacho the lipstick in gazpacho this is what it's looking like right now not a whole lot of product left but still quite a few uh, I didn't use it too much since the last update and the last item is also by by beauty and this is the lip pencil in 078 um, that's the size it is at now so it's not too much but still quite a bit left in here all right now let's talk about how many products I finished in this project and what my goal was um, so far I have finished let me get my paper I have finished 11 products and the value of these products are two hundred and seven dollars point like one cent two hundred and seven dollars um it, when I started the project I wasn't intending it to be a rolling project pan like I said I just wanted to finish 18 products and I had my goal as like 470 almost $500 worth of makeup I am pretty far away from the value goal but I am really close to the goal of like the number of items so I really think that I'll be able to finish my foundation for sure I'll be able to finish my primer I'll be able to finish the spotlight highlighter. I will be able to finish the eyebrow pencil, the eye pencils, the blush. The only thing that I don't think I'll be able to finish would be um, the lip gloss, maybe the lipstick and the lip liner, as well as this concealer because it is brand new. Everything else I will definitely be able to finish um, some of them I'll be able to finish before next update. I have my fingers crossed. So I don't know if I'll be able to meet my $470 goal, but I will definitely meet my, um, my number of items goal. Anyway, doesn't really matter. It's a goal I set for myself, and I'm just going to continue working on the products that I have and just get as much out of my collection as possible. I did my inventory and somehow it increased since the beginning of the year somehow anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you are doing a project like this let me know in the comments below I would love to check you out or check out your progress uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye